The level of fat phobia where people would rather defend multi-billion dollar industries and like corporations that rule the world over even just um, agreeing with a fat person that maybe they should have access to things. So for example, I've seen many a person on this app say, well, why should H&M stock your, stock your size in store? If you want to shop in store, then you need to lose weight. Like, are you being paid by H&M to say that? Sometimes, even though it seems like it's wrong, it actually is right. You sitting there trying to make it seem like we are the bad guys for saying it doesn't make sense to have these styles or clothing options in stores because they just don't sell in making us seem like we are like paid actors for big corporations or big companies is actually ridiculous. You're, you're, you're thinking about something in a non non-linear way. Why? What I care about what H&M does. I don't think I've ever been in an H&M in my entire life. I don't think I've even seen an H&M. I've seen an Aerocrombie and Fitch. I've seen an Aeropostale. I've seen a Forever 21. I've never seen an H&M. The reason why the majority of these companies don't have these clothes in stock is because none of them sell. They don't sell, okay? And then also, we have to talk about this. You guys don't fit everything across the board. So if you are size like 40 and I'm a size 40, odds are your 40 is going to fit differently than my 40. I'm wearing a small right now, okay? This is a small. Guess what? If another person, another man wears a small, he's going to fit into the same shirt 100%. There's no doubt about it unless the guy's like missing arms. But that's like an ex that's like an extreme example. It, 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 that's an extreme example. It's the same thing with anything. Like pants are going to fit. I wear I think I'm a size 31, right? In my in my pants on the waist, most guys are going to be able to fit in a size 31 if they fit 31s, unless you're missing a leg or something like that. Or if you're like me and you possess a ginormous penis, then maybe it might be a little bit difficult to to fit into it a little bit. But Across the board, there's a reason why they don't sell this stuff. It's because it doesn't work, okay? It doesn't sell. So I understand what you're saying, but we're not siding with the big corporations. I don't really care about these big corporations, but the reason why they put the stuff they do on the shelves is because they sell. You do understand that, right? You know how stupid it would be for these companies to look at the products that they have and go, even though these are selling pretty well, let's just take like a good, a good percentage of them out and then replace them with products that do not sell as much and then just do it because philanthropy because we're nice guys we live in a capitalistic society people want to make money right so if you want to make money what are you going to do you sell stuff i'm sorry that you don't think that same way in store then you need to lose weight and that is also exactly true if you want to be better prepared for the society in which you occupy then yes 100 percent lose weight if you wanted to become a pigeon and your entire identity was a human being guess what you're gonna suck a lot of dick at being a pigeon but if you somehow manage to grow wings and talk like and you like we're missing legs which a lot of pigeons for some reason are missing legs i see pigeons a lot uh, that just casually walk around and they just kind of sit there on the floor and they just kind of slitch over and you look at these pigeons like what's wrong with that pigeon and then you walk up to the pigeon and then it tries, starts to fly away but it only has like one leg or it like looks at you and just flies away and then you realize that he doesn't even have legs that pigeon doesn't even have legs so yes if on the off chance you want to become a pigeon guess what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to embody some of the traits of becoming a pigeon instead of sitting here being a fat person and complaining that you don't have access to stuff why the hell are you a fat person be a regular person and then you'll embody the rest of the traits of a regular person and then you'll have all the access to all the regular person stuff it's that simple okay uh anyway like, are you being paid by h&m to say that i wish man h&m sponsor me right now dude i'll say whatever you want me to say dude thin people get thinner in order to find clothes yup i'll say it dude how much you want to pay me five six seven thousand dollars i'll do it in what world does stocking extended sizing impact you take <sighs> It's not that it impacts me, but it's going to impact the company. And I am, I'm only looking at this from like a logical point of view. I don't necessarily care if H&M goes out of business or doesn't go out of business. I don't care. I don't know anything about this company, but what I do care about is what's right. Okay. It'd be very ignorant and very stupid of me to sit there and advocate for a company to do something not in their best interest. 
I don't necessarily care, okay? There are plenty of companies out there that do terrible, disgusting things every single day, and they continue to do those terrible, disgusting things on a daily basis, and I don't necessarily care, okay? There's a reason why iPhones exist. Like, do you feel good about the fact that your iPhone was put together by a small Indonesian children with very small fingers that worked 40 hours today? Do you feel good about that? I bet you don't, but guess what? It's okay. We all are doing it. Um, slave labor or child labor, or whatever it is, it happens, okay? It sucks a lot of dick, but don't act like you're not going to buy the new iPhone. Don't act like you're not going to buy that t-shirt that you bought that has like 40% iron in it. You're all going to do it, okay? I'm not here to make you feel bad or worse, but companies are going to do what they're going to do in order to make money. If, if Is it lucrative for these companies to put these plus-size clothing on the stores, store shelves? No. So therefore, they're not going to do it. Why the fuck would I sit there and advocate for these companies to put more plus-size? And by the way, it's like actively enabling you people to continuously gain weight why don't you just lose weight and of course there are going to be people that are going to go oh but what about the in-between times first of all you have no desire these people have no desire to lose weight in general so there is no in-between time these people are going to continuously lose uh sorry gain weight and maybe lose brain cells that's the only weight they're ever going to lose their brain just becoming consecutively sl sl smoother as the years progress but they're never going to lose weight but let's say hypothetically that you did lose weight uh, yes, I would love that you would have clothes, but you're gonna have to do something in order to get those clothes. I would think probably shopping online. All the clothes that I buy currently are all bought online. And I know that maybe my solution is not as good as yours and you gotta want, you wanna go to brick and mortar stores, but it is what it is. Like not everything's gonna be made for everybody and it sucks a lot of dick, that's the case, but we live in an imperfect society where we try our hardest to be as equal across the board. Anyway anything away from you fucking extended sizing and by the way that's not even the point to be talking about me why does it matter we're talking about big corporations right why does it matter for me impact you take anything away from you apart from of course the righteousness you feel that you get to shop in store i don't shop in stores so this doesn't really even apply to me at all i don't think i've been to a brick and mortar store okay you know what let me talk about this for a second i bought socks and i bought underwear from primark nine months ago and I don't really like going to shopping. I'm wearing the same pants that I've been wearing for like the last nine years. Um, half of them are falling apart now, so I probably do need to buy new pants and stuff like that. But for the most part, for me personally, I don't buy clothes. Uh, it's very depressing for many men to go clothes shopping. We only have like a very small like 30% section of a floor. And we share that floor with children, animals, and lingerie. And sometimes, maybe even women's socks or shoes sometimes. So we have a whole bunch of stuff that's literally disgusting. Like you go to the plus side, you go to, you go to the men's section and you're just sitting there seeing guys just sitting down on the, on, the, on the sides of windows or on the floor waiting for their girlfriends to come out of the changing room while looking down at mismatched socks or shirts that have weird stripe patterns on it that the, 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 the guys that put them out spill like spaghetti stains on it. And we're all consecutively looking down at the shirt, depressed, looking at each other like who's going to buy this $9 shirt that's only worth maybe two. But that's what, that's what, that's what it is like when, when men are shopping. So um, we all have to deal with it. I know it sucks a lot of dick to say that, but uh, yeah, I don't care. I don't feel righteous for shopping in stores. I don't really even like it in general. So yeah, yeah, I, I, this doesn't apply to me, but I understand what she's saying. No, I don't feel, I don't think anybody feels righteous. We're just pointing out the obvious that most of these retailers are not putting clothes on the shelves because it doesn't make sense to. The right. By the way, Vaseline, uh, really, really crusty. You're gonna, you should look like. Your lips look, be looking like a little bit like croissants. Righteousness you feel that you get to shop in store. That uh, apparently, you know, you, you h and give you a big slap on the back for that. Is that, is that it? A slap on the back? You mean a pat on the back, not a slap. Is that it? You assign so much of your own self-worth at the idea that a fat person goes, hey, I'd love something in my size, please. You're being, purpose you're being purposely ignorant and you're trying to reframe the argument to better suit what you're trying to say, which is really, really malicious. It's terrible. Stop doing that shit, okay? The real complaint here is you are fat and you don't want to lose weight in order to be better adequated and antiquated within society. And instead of Instead of losing weight, you want to instead blame the retailers. But when somebody, an individual says, well, is that even necessarily what we should be doing? I mean, shouldn't it be better if you just lose weight yourself since you, that will like literally benefit you across the board and you can fit in the same size clothes that eyes have? And then your response to that is, are you being paid? Are you literally being paid by H&M or other retailers in order to, sh to say that? Are you a grifter? No, no. We're just thinking about this logically. It's stupid. It's stupid. It is dumb to think that these big companies are going to do anything besides look at you, laugh, and then put out a statement saying that they're all, they're all about equality and equity across the board whilst doing nothing. So, yes, uh, that is the truth. And I know it sucks a lot of dick, but 
instead of asking the world to change for you, wouldn't it be better to change for the world since you're like living in that? Please. You go, well, you can't have it because only I can have it because I've been a good person and I am the No, I don't. It's not about me being a good person. It's not about like me getting stuff because I deserve that thing. It's just that we make the world for the majority of people. And for a long time, the majority of people were not obese and dying of obesity and suffering from the negative effects of that. So we built a wor world for that people. And you guys are like way outside of that. You guys are literally like out of breath from simply walking up like three steps of stairs. So like you do realize in general, you guys are really, really inefficient doing anything. So wouldn't it be better to, I don't know, like mesh yourself, scissor yourself into a society that's already built for thin people or people of normal sizes compared to what you are, which is like 300, 400, 500 pounds more? Wouldn't that be better instead of complaining? By the way, Felix is looking beautiful today. Beautiful boy. One up for Felix. One up for Davina. I am the size I am meant to be The H&M has dictated. These are multi-billion dollar industries and you would rather kiss their arse. I'm not kissing their ass. It just, are you stupid? Are you dumb? Are you like actually stupid right now? It's not about kissing their ass. It's about understanding that these companies are not gonna do what you want them to do because I'm gonna like seed over with you. Like that doesn't make any sense. It, 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 these companies, if it was lucrative for them for them to sell, and they always say this, they always go, ooh, the plus size population, women are really obese in today's world, which is true, by the way. I think most women nowadays in America um, are fat, right? According to statistics, which is fine. I mean, it's not fine, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so given that information, they always go, well, if the average size for a woman is like a, a 22 or whatever the fuck they say it is, uh, shouldn't we be equipping these stores? Yeah, yeah, but they usually are in the stores too, by the way. Um, we're, but once you get to these like really, really inflated styles, like once you start to get to styles that are like, you know, 30, 40, I don't even know how women's sizes work. Like you go into one store and uh, it, everything works fine there, but then you go to the next store and nothing fits and you have to go a size down or go a size two sizes down or whatever or like, I don't know, bro. Maybe you have to let like Danny DeVito sniff, sniff your ass to properly fit into jeans. I have no idea how it works exactly. But every store is like so incredibly different for women. At least it's okay for men. Like most men. I don't know why it's like that. Is it just because dudes don't want to put up with it? Or maybe it's just because guys are not shopping most stores in general. So it's like we might as well just have clothes that fit in general. Why does it work like that? But it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, that's the hashtag pink cost, if that makes any sense, right? Don't they say that? Like the pink, the pink tax? Like women pay more for stuff because they're buying more stuff? I don't know. But regardless of that, uh, I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Anyway, go off, Queen. And even look around at your own friends and family and maybe, you know, maybe advocate for their... Well, I do advocate for them. Like if I'm around people that are fat, is the solution to enable them to continue being fat? Or should I give them a solution of calories in, calories out, lose some weight? You're fat as hell. You're big as fuck, dude. Yo. Hey, yo, my best friend, you can't even, like, stand up for more than, like, 10 minutes straight. Maybe you should lose weight, not, hey, dude, maybe you should invest in big sticks that you could glue on the back of your legs to take some stress off your kneecaps. No, I'm not trying to enable their bad behavior. I'm not trying to have my guy friend, who's, like, 350, duct tape big, long sticks to the back of his legs so he can stand up for longer than 10 minutes as he stands in line for the Mickey D's checkup. Like, I, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm not doing that. It'd be better if I just told him to stop going to Mickey D's and eat a little less so he can be better of a human being in the sense of, like, the physicality. And, you know, wouldn't that be better instead of, like, advocating for people to continue to eat more and satisfy their in their mouths consistently? Nah, bro. Uh, forget about that. Do something for yourself. And also, you sitting there and going, I'm being a bad person. Me. I'm being a bad person. Because instead of advocating for my family and friends to have more plus-size clothing, I'm advocating for them to lose weight, to become healthier. You're somehow equating that to me being a grifter. Are you serious? Are you actually dumb? Do you have a mental deficiency? Are you mentally deranged? Are you serious? <laughs> Look around at your own friends and family and maybe, you know, maybe advocate for their betterment. betterment. I do. Same with plain seats. By losing weight. Seats, right? Plain seats. If a fat person goes, oh, it'd be awesome if plain seats were bigger, right? And I'm going to go, well, if if we did make plain seats bigger, okay, let's say hypothetically we did make plain seats bigger, by like 20%, odds are we're probably going to have to make the seats, uh, so there's three of them. There's usually three seats per row. Uh, we're gonna probably gonna have to take that third seat away and put it a bigger two two big two seats, which is gonna increase the price of the ticket. I don't really necessarily care that the plain seat is as small as it is. 
I fit nested. I fit I fit fairly well in it. Most people fit fairly okay in it. Now, granted, it's probably going to be a little bit uncomfortable for a, a lot of people, but given that the, the price of the ticket is usually going to be lower. So if we increase the price of the plane ticket, I'm going to have to pay a bigger price ticket. You're going to have to pay a bigger price ticket. Across the board, everybody's going to be punished for this. Wouldn't it just be better to maybe lose a little bit little bit of weight so that way you could fit better into that plane seat and suffer a, suffer a little bit less instead of sitting there and trying to make everything bigger, which is endless, by the way. If everything becomes bigger, then every all the prices go up by everything. So if your case here is... Well, it would just be better for everybody if the plane seats were bigger. Nah, nah, nah. Let me ask you something. Most people would agree with you. If you said, hey, wouldn't it be better if the plane ticket, sorry, if the plane seats were bigger? Everybody go, oh, yeah, 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 100%. But if you ask those people, okay, would you be willing to pay an extra 30% or 40% extra on that plane ticket? They're going to go, oh, nah, nah. Now, I'm good the way it is, actually. Um, and when I'm on my flight for four hours or two hours or three hours, and it's uncomfortable for a little bit. I'm okay with putting up with that if it means that I'm paying little. If, if it means I'm paying less, that's ultimately what it comes down to. So I understand what you're saying, but most people are not prepared for doing that. Okay. And you all go, well, I could fit in my seat. And if they made the plane seats bigger, then they would have to put all the costs up to accommodate it. And I'm not going to pay more for my plane seat just yeah. because fat people want bigger seats. True, true, true. I'm not trying to do that. First of all. Yeah. They don't have to put any seat price up, right? How? They, okay. Uh, I'm interested in she somehow figured something out. Go ahead. That's capitalism, right? Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm listening. Uh, that's capitalism. All right. Go ahead. Any seat price up, right? That's capitalism, right? They are putting the seat price up and blaming the consumer for it. When I'm, I'm still waiting for you to debunk the plane seat not going up in price. Go ahead. When they just don't need to be making as much profit. These are multi- Hold up now. Hold up now. Hold up. So you're saying, hold up, hold up, hold up. So your main case here of why they, they don't need extra. So <laughs> hold up. I'm, I'm sorry. This shit is actually blowing my mind. So your case is they don't need to put up the price of those seats because they don't need to be making more money. Really? Really? You really think that, huh? So you just think that they, they, they don't have to be making money, right? That's just what you're saying? Like, they don't need to be making as much money as they do. It's not that big of a deal, is it? Are you okay mentally? Are you, uh, are we not, like, smelling, are we not smelling the same salts right now? Um, you do realize that that's not actually debunking the claim. If you're, so, if, if you're telling me that they don't have to do that and your solution to that is they just don't need to be making as much money, are you fucking dumb? Are you actually stupid? What are you talking about? What? So you just think that they're going to take a like a 30 or 40% price cut just because? Just because. Just because fat people exist. Huh. That's interesting. That's really interesting. I really wonder if that's how it works in any other situation ever. Yeah. You know what? All these companies that sit there and they're making all that percentage up, up. You know what? You're right. They should just take a 30 or 40 per, you know what? 100% pay cut. Make everything free. Why not? They don't need to be making any money because capitalism bad, right? Right? That's what you're saying, right? Even though, given the fact that you're taking a plane means that you're privileged enough to be taking a plane. Most people in America don't take planes. You do understand that. Like, I think the, the percentage of Americans that take planes is like 30%. So, I would really love, you know what? That's a great logical. Even though you're in a privileged circumstance where you can even say like, oh yeah, they could just not make more money. That's great. I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you could just say that. I'm happy you could just say they should just, they should just not make more money. <sighs> very logical. Very, very good. Very good. Right? That's capitalism, right? They are putting the seat price up and blaming the consumer for it. When because they have to. Because if they were making, let's say, three, let's say hypothetically, they sold three seats and it was $100 per seat. And now they have to take away a seat in order to make the other two plane and the other two plane seats bigger, right? Now you're only getting two hundred dollars per seat. So in order to make up for that money, that that seat needs to now go up by fifty dollars. So a whole ass fifty percent extra more on top of that. So I understand what you're saying, but you do understand that these companies want to make money, right? Aren't like mo most plane companies like aren't they? Don't they start off in the negative? Like it, it, didn't they take like a 
I understand what you're saying, but it's dumb. We live in a capitalistic society. People want to make money. They want to make profit. They have shareholders that they are entitled to. And you're sitting here saying, oh, they just shouldn't be making money. In what world do you live in? Where do you want to, hold up. You want to so quickly shit on the capitalistic, the capitalistic spectrum. Why don't you go to another country where that's not even a thing? Like go over to, I don't even know. What country nowadays even practices anything that's, I mean, I guess you can go over to China, but even China's got a lot of capitalistic structures. What, you know what? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Even though this is stupid and you didn't debunk anything, go ahead. Right? They are putting the seat price up and blaming the consumer for it when they just don't need to be making as much profit. These True. are multi-billion dollar True. profitable corporations. They don't have to be making as much profit True. as they are. They just shouldn't be making as much money as they are. Facts, man. Oh, you're totally right about that. They just, why are they making money at all then? You know what I'm talking about? Like, fuck it. Just make everything free, right? Oh, th this is this is such a disgusting way of looking at anything at all. You can literally use this for anything across the board. This woman is actually dumb. And yet they would blame us and then you encourage you. By the way, she still hasn't come up with a solution. Like, there is no solution here. She's just saying just take a, like, 30% pay cut, which is very easy for them, right? So that you do realize when you say take that 30% pay cut, you do realize that also means that the people working at those companies are also taking a pay cut, right? You do understand that the... The value of those, the value of those planes, the value of all that stuff also goes down as a complication of that, right? You do understand that. You do understand, like across the board, things are going to decrease in value, right? Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're good. You're good. You're really good. Just make everything free. Why don't you? To blame the fat people just for wanting, I don't know, a bit of comfort. I want money. I want free money. I want people to pray to me i want a whole bunch of things because it's my comfort like for my comfort i just need people to kiss my toenails on a daily basis tell me i'm beautiful and also pray to my big meaty masterpiece uh megalodon meaty man that's what i need i need everybody to pray to that because i just deserve it <laughs> i just deserve you see how stupid you sound you see how dumb you sound dude it, 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 why do you think that you're so entitled yo are you dumb i encourage you how'd you make it to 30 years old thinking like this that's crazy as hell so entitled so incredibly entitled to expect the world to change for you just because you want a little bit more comfort. Grow up. Grow up. To blame the fat people just for wanting, I don't know, a bit of comfort. It's not just getting a little bit of comfort. You're asking for a lot. You're literally asking for an entire plane seat to be taken out or fundamentally redesign the planes to accommodate for three big ass plane seats and then just eat the fuel cost price of that plane being way bigger and having to take off that tarmac and then also having to pick up the prices of all those plus size people. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you actually dumb? A bit of comfort in the air? Fucking. And, and she makes it seem like it's not that big of a deal. Like, it's only a little bit of comfort. Stop it. Stop gaslighting people. Hell, you were doing their bidding for them, and you don't even realize it. Like I say, you would rather be up the arsehole of these multi-billion dollar corporations who don't even know you exist over advocating for your own friends and family. Bananas, it would never be me. I think that woman is dumb. People love to jump in my comments and tell me that I must be so, so unhealthy because of my size. You are. That's a fact. And that I'm going to k young. Um, and I should just lose weight, right? That wonderful phrase. I should just lose weight. Um, but then when they tell me how to lose weight, it's in the most unhealthy ways possible. Right? Like what? Like diet and exercise? Like taking a little bit more walks or maybe eat, cutting out the soda or not eating that muffin or... Understanding how calories work and trying to figure out a good suitable technique in order to maintain a good diet, maximizing the amount of food that you can eat, but not maximizing the amount of calories. What is really extreme about that? I don't think anybody's advocating you for you for you to like suck peanut butter out of a jar with a spoon. And also, I don't know, like eat Tootsie Rolls out of a homeless man's ass. Like who the fuck is asking for any of that? Right. It's like, oh, just go and replace with shakes. Replace two of your meals. Nobody's saying replace. When you, when you, when you talk, when you go, listen. When you talk to 100 people and you choose to talk to one person that tells you to replace all your food with shakes, um, why are you going for that one extreme example? Like you do realize that the majority of people that are telling you to lose weight, they're telling you to do things like you cut out sodas, drink water more. Um, it's okay to eat bad foods, but just reduce the amount of times you eat that in a week or a month. And then also probably find good suitable replacements for the high calorie stuff that you're eating. So that way your body can be more nutritious and more 
Like, who's who's saying that? Nobody's saying that. You, you found one comment where somebody was like, yeah, just replace all your food with, with shakes. It worked for me. That's no, like, one guy? You found one guy that said that? With shakes. Or just go on, like, a 1,200-calorie diet. Nobody's saying that either. You're probably eating, like, 4,000 calories a day. I would recommend 3,500 until you hit a plateau and then reduce it from that. Like, half the amount of calories that you should be on for a woman. Half the amount of calories for a woman is 2,400? So you would... I think the amount of calories that a woman should be eating in a day, according to the CDC, sorry, uh, my bad, not the CDC, the American Health Association or whatever it's called is 2,000 calories, I believe, is 2,000 calories. So that's a whole ass 400 calories on top of that. Uh, but I guess, you know, numbers mean nothing to this woman. Like of your age. Or why don't you just like start taking medicine, which was never meant for weight loss. <laughs> and so just because something wasn't meant for weight loss doesn't mean that it's not for weight loss now. Like uh, nuclear bombs were made to destroy a whole bunch of stuff, but then we found other purposes for them, right? Nuclear energy and things such as so forth. Like swords were meant for killing people. Then we found out that we could use it for other things, right? Like, you know, knives and other stuff like that. Just because something was made for something doesn't mean that that's... Like, weren't, weren't most of the stuff that we made was, was suitable for killing people? Like, t-shirts were made for, I think, like, Marines or something like that. But then they just became cool for everybody else. Just because something is made for something doesn't mean that we we know, doesn't mean we still use it for that purpose. And there isn't other utilities for that same thing. So, I don't care. It's a bad example. I don't just, like, start taking medicine, which was never meant for weight loss. <laughs> and you're actively taking it away from people who... I love when she laughs. That overline is actually hysterically terrible. I just love that she laughs as if she's making good points, but she's not. None of these points are actual good. You actually need that medicine for actual medical medical needs. But no. So you, so I should just feel bad for using those drugs, even though that they're made for me to lose weight. I should feel bad because somebody else needs them more than me. What about the food that you eat? And what about the people on the earth that are starving and you're just eating so much food? You're, you're probably, how, how much do you weigh? Let's just say like, it's hypothetically, let's say you're 300, 300 pounds, which is probably double uh, or a little bit more than what you should be weighing in a day. We're well, not even, okay. And let's say that. What about all the food that you're eating that somebody else could be eating that you're you're just casually body slamming? Do you feel bad about the people that are not eating those foods that you are? Do you see how dumb that shit is, bro? What kind of what kind of backwards ass logic is that? Do you see how easy it was for me to like flip that on its head for you too? Get away from people who actually need that medicine for actual medical medical needs. Yeah, fucking virtue signaling through the fucking wazoo right now. But no, just take these drugs and yeah. that'll make you lose weight. True. Doesn't work. Just remove half your stomach. Cause that's healthy. Oh, but the but the the extra two hundred pounds on your body that's obviously not healthy, right? I was talking to my husband last night about just the wild things that people say to you. Yo, real quick, your husband, right? Does he not have a problem with the fact that you're you're really big? Does he not have a problem that you're literally like really really unhealthy and you're like really really like close? to big medical problems does he not have a problem with that no he doesn't care about that at all um you seem to have a conversation with your husband fairly often but he does he ever address like the, the real issues with you seems like he's uh, enabling you you when you're in that diet culture and you're in that diet like sphere and one exchange that just lives in my brain rent free because of just how absurd it is was when i was in this diet where um i was having a replacement shake in the morning i was having dinner and then i was having like one of the diet like, cereal bars after dinner and so I'm, you can hear i'm barely eating right then don't eat that. Uh, there are, listen, if you want, most of the shit that you're talking about is sub supplements, right? If you want to supplement your diet with those things, you can. Um, food is always going to be better because it's more filling and it's more nutritious usually. So why didn't you just do that? If you didn't want to do that, you didn't have to. Like, did you think that was the only way? There are plenty of foods out there that you can eat and cook and, and, and put into your body that would be way better for you and satiate you for way longer. Um, but you chose to do that. So I don't understand why you would point this out as if it like, you chose to do this, right? So, like, it seems like you wanted to make that decision. You didn't have to, though. I ate, like, cereal bars after dinner. And so, I'm, you can hear, I'm barely eating, right? And Your on fault. this particular day, I, with my cereal bar at the end of the day, I just, I just needed something a little bit more. So, I grabbed a handful of grapes. A handful of grapes. Okay. And someone said to me, you need to be careful about how many grapes you're eating there, Hannah, because of the added sugar. <laughs> that person was dumb. What? They're fucking grapes. <laughs> yes, they are. They are grapes. That 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 is true. They they are grapes. <laughs> like, it's wild how demonized fruit can be. You found one person, dude. 
we found we got one piece of anecdotal evidence of somebody saying watch your calories because grapes are bad and now you're choosing to shun everybody for that dude come on come on bro is that diet culture or that person was just like mentally deranged within certain diets because of this fucking added sugar bear in mind the cereal bar it's not added sugar grapes don't have added sugar they're grapes they have sugar in them i'm probably eating it's probably really high in sugar but that's part of the diet that's allowed then don't eat it then don't eat that diet then eat something else if you don't want a high sugar diet then don't eat a high sugar diet it's like it's like these people are children and they find one diet and they go this is the one i'm gonna do forever oh it's not working for me then don't do it then don't do that diet most people that are choosing to do weight loss they're still eating what they usually eat but they just eat less of it and they continuously do that and they supplement out things usually so like for instance if you're eating pizza once a week which is fine uh, maybe instead of eating pizza, you make your own pizza and that pizza is really, really healthy for you because you're doing something or you're adding something to it and you're reducing the calories or whatever the fuck. There are, there are plenty of recipes out there that you can make that are going to be way more filling for you that are going to satiate you for way longer that are going to be way less calories. You're just choosing to focus on this one thing to make seem like your point is more valid than it actually is when it's not. So I'm getting judged and I'm getting fucking disciplined for eating grapes. Yes, that is true. Um, but then again, you this is just like your own example to try to like red herring to try to make it seem like this is a bigger issue than it actually is. Just diabolical, man. Grapes of all things. And it's just you just can't do anything right. You it's one person can't do anything right within diets. The, 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 the demonization of foods, the, the judging, the just oh it was just the morality it fucking sucks. So you just decided to say fuck all that and not lose weight at all. Wow, uh, really, you can't fire me, I quit mentality, bro. Literally gave up on the whole shit because you just thought it wasn't worth it or it was too much effort. But it was it was it a lot of effort to gain all that weight? And that will, every time that I eat grapes, I always remember that exchange. Because it's like, what? What, like, they're fucking grapes, man. Bro, come on. Just insane. She got PTSD from eating grapes because somebody told her that grapes have sugar. Dude, what are you fucking talking about? You're an adult, bro. What are you talking about, man? People have actual problems out here, and you're literally complaining about the fact that somebody said that grapes are bad for you one time. So the fuck what? So what? People say dumb shit a lot, bro. A lot. What about that one time I was on the bus, and somebody told me that vagina is bad for you, dude? Oh, you should totally suck me off. I got PTSD anytime I see vaginas now because I'm always thinking about sucking that guy off. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? Get over it. You're a grown-ass fucking woman. One person said that grapes are bad for you, and now you can't look at grapes the same anymore? What the fuck? Get your, get, bro, get, 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 get your shit out of my face, bro. If you're a fat person, stitch this video with a positive medical experience that you've had. I'll go first. Very recently, after a lot of umming and gnawing. Just a, just a, pa just a really passively victimizing person. Like, this person cannot live without victimizing themselves. I finally went to the doctors to get what I think could be potential sleep apnea. Um, and I didn't want to go because, oh my God, I just don't want the stigma. And I didn't want the potential fat phobia. And I don't yeah, if you guys don't know, they don't like going to the doctor because the doctor will tell them that being fat is not good, even though they're not going there for that primary reason. So like you could literally be going there for a cold or, or a sickness or a broken arm, but the doctor will insist that if you lose weight, your health will improve. And they always try to gaslight people into thinking that doctors are bad because they went to medical school and they found out that doctors are actually learning that being fat is not good, which it is. So, I mean, I mean, it's not, it's not good, but it's obvious. Like they're going to medical school for like six years years you don't think they're gonna learn that being fat is bad i'm sorry that doctors are telling you the truth i want to be told it would all go away if you just lost weight like i just i don't need that in my life but at the same time i need to make sure that i'm healthy if you go to the doctor okay and you go i have high blood pressure and the doctor goes okay well there are a few things that we can do in order to uh, alleviate this problem uh one of them could be this drug another one could be this other drug that we could do or you could literally you we, we could put you on these drugs for like a temporary solution and you diet and exercise and then that will like substantially decrease your high blood pressure by a astro it would actually neutralize it completely and then you go i'm gonna take the drugs that's fine you could take the drugs but we all know that if you lost the weight it would be way beneficial for you, right? But you could totally just not do that and you could totally just take the drugs and I'm sure that it would improve your chances by like 10% or lower your high blood pressure by like 10% or whatever it is. So you could totally do that. But it's like, 
what do you want? Like, if you're going there for sleep apnea, do you not think that has anything to do with the fact that you're fat? Usually your hormone levels are completely, like, obliterated when you're fat because your body has a hard time regulating you in general. So, all right, whatever, dude. Dumb. And I'm waking up with headaches, which is mad because, for me, going to sleep cures my headache. I can't be waking up with a headache. Ah. That's really bad, actually. Waking up with headaches is not a good thing. What do I do? <laughs> so, I was like, we need, we need to get something sorted. And my, my husband, I was going to say my partner, but he's not. Sometimes I see people talking about like, oh, I need to really adjust my health and they stay obese for like decades. Good. I mean, it's it's awesome that you're getting the shit that you can do, you can get done done. Why are we not? Why are we not talking about the health when it comes to your weight? Like, is that just not a problem for you? You just don't give a fuck about that? Like, you do realize that's a, that's a really, really neg like passive ability wise, bro. Like, granted, waking up with headaches is bad. And I agree. But what about your weight? Like you don't you don't think that's gonna be like a fifty percent passive a negative passive trade on you? Yeah. What do I do? <laughs> so I was like, we need we need to get something sorted. And my my husband, I was gonna say my partner, but he's not my husband. Oh, how official. Um, he was saying I am snoring, and he has caught me in the night struggling to breathe. So get a CPAP, right? A lot of fat people need CPAPs. So I'm like, well, we need to go. We need to go get this checked out. So I finally worked up the courage to go. And they said, uh, you know, it sounds like this is something we need to investigate. Go get your blood test done just so we can rule anything out. So I'm going to get the blood test done. Side note, how I got my blood test done, it was like through a drive-through thing, like process. And it was fucking brilliant because I went to the hospital and it was been an hour and a half wait at the hospital. And I was like, who has the time? And it's like, that's what they're saying is an hour and a half. It's probably going to be like double that, right? But then they have the drive-through thing to the north of the city. So we went and honestly, I was we were in the queue for maybe 10 minutes. The, like they opened the car door boom 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 it was brilliant i could not recommend it more it was fantastic okay anyway get the blood test back i go in drive through kind of like how you get that drive through mcdonald's huh in to the gp to talk through um the blood test results and she was just the kindest woman she was going through my blood test she was telling me what they were saying and like like read the role in the the great ranges like nothing to worry about there um, she took my heart rate, she took my oxygen level, she took my blood pressure, everything was fine. So she was like, basically we can rule out anything, you know, I guess diabetes or we can rule out um, any heart issues. So that means we're kind of left with going to the sleep clinic to investigate it further. And at no point did she mention my weight. And at no point she said, well, you, you know, I was kind of expecting someone to be like, well, you know, sleep apnea can be exacerbated by excess weight. True. Should we do something about that in the meantime? There was no, there was no like hesit. So you, 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 are you happy about the fact that the doctor didn't talk to you about the things that you, she should have talked to you about, or like is that is that what we're doing right now? Like we're, we're 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 oh this is a great thing. My doctor actually left out things that I know would have actually helped me out, but they just left it out because they knew that my feelings would would be hurt by that. Okay, I guess, dude. I'm. I, if that's really a win for you, not getting proper, proper like medical services, like, is it the whole? Aren't you guys always complaining about not getting good medical services because of medical fat phobia? But then you're actually, you're actually celebrating the fact that your doctor didn't tell you about something that they probably should have told you about. Okay, it's great. It's awesome, dude. It's so backwards. Like you have no problem complaining about shit like that when they tell you when something is wrong, but when they don't tell you something is wrong, then you just like, oh my god, this is so great. Okay, all right, totally makes sense. Hesitation of like, well, actually, we're not going to explore this further until you make an effort. Because so that's something I've experienced before in the past. I know something other people have experienced. Like this deny denial of treatment. We really need some. We really need some Vaseline today. Dude. Treatment until you have committed to losing weight, which is just barbaric okay so i was really scared that that was gonna to happen to me and it didn't she was phenomenal she was so kind and gracious and she just went yeah we'll, we'll you know there's nothing obvious anywhere else that would indicate why you have poor fatigue levels <laughs> sounds like a great doctor sounds like a doctor that didn't leave anything on the table but definitely left a lot on your gut huh or aren't sleeping properly so i think we have to refer you to the sleep clinic and that's what she did and it was such a good experience. And I hate- A good experience. Doctor not talking to you about the actual issues. That, that isn't- That's like going into a mechanic and then seeing that your tire is literally hanging off and going, I just don't get what's wrong with my car. And the, the mechanic goes, um, let me just test. Let me get, let me get my little screwdriver. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, we could probably take it to another mechanic because I don't really know if there's anything wrong with the car necessarily. Um, what, what do you say about the wheel hanging off? What wheel are you talking about, huh? Huh? 
Anyway, we could probably take you to another mechanic office. That's basically the same thing here. Like, you're just, like, celebrating the fact that the doctor didn't help you, which is awesome. I'm so happy for you that your doctor did nothing. That's awesome. Rarity for people of our size. Um, but it is also, but it's not impossible at the same time. There are medical professionals who are kind and gracious and empathetic to everybody. I just wish maybe there were more. Take a win wherever we can get it. There, she she went to the doctor, so I guess that's a win regardless. But I guess she, the doctor she went to didn't really care about her that much because they didn't actually specify anything to do with weight. I'm pretty sure that one of the main causes of sleep apnea or um, you know br struggling breathing in your sleep and all this other stuff is usually due to weight. But you know whatever hormone levels I guess didn't really matter for that doctor. I guess they didn't really care. Maybe they just felt like kicking the can down the road and let somebody else deal with the problem because fuck it. I'm not being sued for malpractice. I'm not being sued for being fat phobia. Fuck that. I'm just going to kick the can down the road and leave it to somebody else. So in the process of this person sitting there and saying that they were treated correctly, they were actually treated incorrectly, which is beautiful, awesome, fantastic, and they're celebrating it, which is even better. Which is even better. What a life we live in. We are upset when we don't get proper medical treatment because we're fat, but when we actually don't get proper medical services because we're fat, we celebrate it. Interesting. Anyway, we're going to end the video here, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate it very much. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in strawberries because they're beautiful. I tend to call them straw bellies because they look cool and they look like bellies, don't they? When you turn them upside down, like fat people almost. Um, beautiful, amazing, specialized fruits. They're a little bit crunchy. I don't really like the texture of them. Texture is a big part of my diet. I don't like when I, when I put something in my mouth and it's... It has a weird, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, it, it just feels like it shouldn't taste like this. Or it feels like it shouldn't be like that in your mouth. Um, kind of like when you're, like, eating a girl out and there's a piece of hair down there. And you're like, oh, 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 You know, it's like that. And uh, not all women, it's like that. But sometimes it does happen. Sometimes it does happen. I'm not hating on the girl, but sometimes it is a little bit off-putting a little bit of times. Or the amount of times that girls have told me, oh, my God, yes, it's just squirt. Like, don't worry about it. Oh, my God. It's like, that's just what happens. And then you find out that it's pee. In my mouth, huh? All in my mouth. And I thought this was like the fountain of youth or something like that. I thought this was like amazing. I was doing something special when it turns out that you just had to pee really bad. And you decided to do it in my bed, in my mouth. Anyway. We're going to end the video here, guys. Uh, you're a beautiful, specialized, amazing person. Your oral hygiene is superior. It's amazing. It's fulfilling. Your uh, your eyebrows are very delightful. They're very delectable. They're very delicious. They're very delicioso. I love your eyebrows so incredibly much. I love the way you take care of yourself. It really is amazing. Thank you so much for taking care of yourself because that means you're going to be here with me every single day. And I really appreciate that. By the way, thank you for watching today's video. If you want to check out my social medias, they'll be listed down below in the descriptions. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.